Hi, I'm Anna Ng. Welcome to my poetry journey. It began in 2003 when I read a story, The Emperor's New Clothes, to my son. I found that child in that story asked me, "Who are you? Who am I? I don't know." I found lost and sad. At night, I woke up and want to express my sad feeling and lostness. It came out as a poem. I posted it online and got wonderful feedback. Some people asked me, "Are you really a Chinese immigrant?" Since then, I fall in love with poetry. I keep writing, keep reading, and poetry indeed opened the whole world of new meanings to me, and also get me connect to many poets. I got a lot of support from other poets and friends and my family as well. I want to study more. I want to go to university to challenge myself. I took the night courses in University of Toronto in my spare time, and I learned a lot, and I wrote more and more. Luckily, Mosaic Press accepted my manuscript. Thank Mosaic Press to publish my book Wind Towards Sunlight in 2011. And inhaling the silence in 2013, poetry really opened a door for me and let my soul experience more. So, like Emily Dickinson said, the soul should always stand ajar, ready to welcome the aesthetic experience. All of my poetry is related to our daily life. I got inspirations from everyday life. So here I want to share stories and poetry. When my son was five years old, he asked us for pets. We couldn't because we were so busy. So we bought him fish. Fish is not a pet. I felt sorry for my son and for the fish. Sometimes I do feel human being. I like fish living in isolation, so I wrote this: fish in a house. You named me once, then forgot. I don't blame you. What's the point of naming a fish? You dutifully feed me. I should thank you, I guess. No matter how cold the water. Now and then I worry. I outlive you. This house is another water tank. You don't have any gills. When nights come, you dream and I dream too. There, I teach you how to swim, how to live empty. Last year, I was invited to read my poems in Vancouver for the World Poetry Society. The host told me an interesting story. She said a lady called her and asked her to thank me because my poem saved her. So here is the poem. After reading Ted Hughes, Full Moon, and Little Frida, I fall in love with you, Moon. Seeing you step back like a timid artist, listening to the night, you come out. A pale, lifted moon. They are gone. They left you watching over the river. How many years since? And you watch the small village becoming a floating island. Among rows of windows, the night flows, and I'm wide awake. How much 
I want to imitate Li Po, dancing with his wide sleeves, a humming from his burning heart. Night after night, inviting you for a drink. The wine never drained, yet he drowned in the silver river. Moon, lift your bucket, come out once more. I wouldn't make a sound. This is a sad poem. How it saved another lady's life. If you read it again and again, you might find out. I have many stories and poems. I hope you enjoy this. Please visit my website, Anna. Poetry.com. Thank you.